Hi, this is Michelle Fontaine from Oral and Global Health. Today, we're going to review flossing and cleaning between your teeth. So, I should almost go shopping with you one of these days and take you to the drugstore because there is so much to choose from. So today, of course, I'm not going to cover everything that you can find in the drugstore, but I'm going to show you what I use in the dental office. So, one of my favorite flosses for now is the Johnson & Johnson Reach. And I say for now because sometimes they come up with different uh, products and I like them better. So when you take a bit of floss, you take about a foot and a half of dental floss. I like this dental floss because it's like a tape, so it has a certain thickness and flatness to it. And it's also uh, has a bit of wax on it, so it'll it won't uh, shred as easily between your teeth. A very fine floss, I find, if you're not doing it properly, you can easily cut your gums. And this one, it, because of of its shape, uh, it's just I find it's just easier to use. So then you will use your hands to floss. I will show you after with a holder. So what you want to do is to wrap the floss around the middle finger overlapping it, your finger will become a spool. And then with the other hand, you'll wrap a bit more of the floss. And you have, I don't know, about six inches of floss between the two spools. And then you fold the last three fingers. They're not going to go in your mouth. You're only going to use two of these four fingers. For the bottom teeth, you want to lift your elbows up. Hmm? <laughs> use two indexes, one that you'll fit inside, one that will fit on the outside of your teeth. And for the top teeth, you will use a thumb and an index, like a little bridge. This way it's easier to, to, to do the top teeth and it's just more comfortable for your shoulders. I also keep a Kleenex because I find it gets slippery, um, you know, you want to wipe your floss if, if you have a bit of plaque on it. I recommend that you floss first before brushing. So if you haven't <laughs> flossed or brushed in a while, perhaps you want to do a very light brushing to remove some of the plaque and then you can go ahead and, and floss. <clears throat> so what you want to do, I'm actually going to do it on my own teeth, hopefully you can see properly. And I don't have the most fantastic teeth. Um, one of the reasons I became a dental hygienist is because I spent a lot of time at the dentist office. And uh, so I've had a lot of work. And I didn't like going to the dentist when I was young. But um, it's a challenge for me. And I love it because I find that I know where you feel, how what you feel when you're at the dentist, because I felt it too. And uh, I guess it's just part of uh, what builds who I am as a hygienist because I, I know exactly what you're feeling. So this is to teach you something so that you don't get the cavities that I got when I was younger. So again, so you will use an index finger and a thumb to make a little bridge and then you will tease it in between the teeth. If you push it in, it'll go in and it'll go cling and smack your gums and it's not very pleasant. Okay, so you have to be gentle. So just tease it in. And then you need to wrap the floss like a C around the tooth you're choosing to do. So I'm going to do this tooth first. And then you do this. And then you flip it around. And then you do this. Tease it out. There you go. And it's done. And then you move along to the next one. And you do the same thing all the way to the back. And then you come back to the front. And then again, this one, the next one, the next one. At the beginning, I recommend that you use a mirror because you you know you have to see what you're doing. But with time, just stay near the mirror, but you know, look away and try working on your teeth. For the bottom teeth now, you will use the, the elbows up, two index fingers, one on the inside. And out again. Okay, so it's not very difficult. It just takes a few minutes. It takes uh, at the beginning. It's like I always like to compare it to playing the piano. You don't become a pianist playing one time. The more you practice, the better you'll be at it. So flossing, any kind of new uh, a new
new uh, thing that you